looking at CP7869. Uh, so a late maturing uh, hard red winter wheat variety from cropland. Uh, we've brought this out several years ago. Uh, this is a high yield potential product matched with an outstanding disease package. When we look at the disease ratings for this hybrid, uh, from leaf, stem rust, stripe rust, uh, and any other leaf diseases, we have this rated as excellent. Uh, we've seen terrific performance on this as far as disease category goes. We like to see this product put um, in a lot of different in a lot of different situations. This can go from from our stressful dry land, tough acres, all the way through our high yield irrigated uh, environments. So we don't have any place we don't recommend putting this product. Um, it is uh broadly adaptable from uh use down in texas oklahoma through kansas uh nebraska colorado up into the dakotas so we we have this product placed in a lot of different environments a lot of areas have been our our go-to lead product as far as versatility especially goes um this is a, a later maturing product as i mentioned before um, it has uh, medium plant stature right next door to this is cropland uh, 7050 ax so coaxium wheat product and as you can see side by side not a lot of difference in height both are kind of medium stature plants maybe slightly taller out of 7050. Uh, this is a product that uh, when it comes to response scores it's a moderate responder to population a moderate responder to nitrogen so we don't have to push uh, plant densities or fertility to make this be a a high yield high performing product on fungicide it is a high responder even though it has excellent disease ratings uh, we still highly recommend a fungicide this is a product that, that gave us huge responses in the absence of disease presence so we want to make sure that we're we're planning to put a fungicide on this product as well